And we're live, folks. This is Lander4523, and bringing another video. And today we're going to be not playing something, but doing something called new a programming tutorial. I'm going to be using a program that is basically like an introduction to Java programming, but I'm going to make it's more like an animation maker. So I'm going to make an animation. So basically, first is how to download it. Basically, you want to go to this website right here that I'm highlighting www.alice.org it's called Alice and basically um once you go there you're gonna go to downloads and then get Alice 3.0 and it'll bring you to this page so online installer you are gonna want to get so you're probably gonna get the online installer because well the offline one the whole gig. These are only a few megabyte. They do take a while to um, install, but still the online install is a little bit better way to go. So pick your um, operating system or type of computer. For me, it's Windows, but like I know there's a lot of you that are Mac or Linux, but no one's really Linux. Linux. No. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, so I just you have to click one of your things and then basically press. And then just wait for it to download, and then it'll open you up. Well, first of all, it'll bring it to your desktop, and then it'll open you up. If you run it, it'll bring you to this. You're basically going to want to select your project. So, any of these things. This is going to set whichever one of these you pick, it's going to set the basic properties of everything. So, I'm going to pick grass, and then you're going to press OK, but I already had grass selected. And then after you select grass, to bring you to this screen. So basically, here's how it works. To make your certain things you incorporate into the scene, sorry with the sore throat, you can basically use all these different statements, all these functions and procedures, and all this other stuff you can do on the um, setup scene page. And drop them into here. So let's say I want to do have the camera move somewhere. Drag it over here and all just all this fancy stuff. But anyway, we're gonna start off by bringing actually getting some things into our scene because our scene is empty. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. So we are going to want to click this setup scene tab. Now this little tiny tab we need just so much stuff. So I just clicked it. It's gonna take a least amount of time to load because it's loading so much stuff. This for everyone. Everyone. It's going to take a while to load this. So don't freak out if it's doing it. They have a part of computer. So it's still loading. <laughs> loading. And here we go. A whole entire new area. So now we got to add items into our scene like yeah items and people and vehicles or whatever so we're gonna be doing a police car chasing an SUV or whatever and that's the easiest I think of the things to start out with that's what I started out with just kind of I was fooling around I already did on um, some other programming programs and I just like went in Alice here and I Basically, just started clicking on some buttons, and I found edit scene. Just looking around, and I did that scene just to start out. So, to get back to the page that we were just went on, that one where I said you could edit the code, just go to this edit code tab. We don't need to worry about that for now. So here's your scene right here. It's this thing, and it is basically. <laughs> I'll go into this, and just don't worry about it. This is like. On the top of it, it's just a big flat grassy area. So right now we're gonna have to go and we're gonna have to go into this big this bin right here, transport classes. And we're gonna go to automobile classes, and then there's all of these different ones. We're gonna get the police car in first. Click on the police car. It's gonna pull up this box right here, basically saying what properties do you want this place car to have basically what you want it to be called and like the intelizer 
all of this stuff. So we're gonna keep it police car, the default name, and just press OK. Here is our police car inside of our scene. Now we want to move him over here-ish, facing that direction, so he can be chasing a person or a van, the van, that way. So we're gonna want to click on him and drag him over here, ish, where we want him. Now to rotate him, there's this huge bar here. Basically, we want to put our mouse by it until it goes highlighted. And rotate our mouse. Rotate it. So it's facing the direction we want to. To make sure I have the right one, I'm going to go to Layout Scene View, which right here, I'm going to be using Layout Scene View a lot. In this, I, I don't know if I'm going to be a series or not. With the starting camera view, we're going to go into Layout Scene View. You can see there is it. So I'm going to just do a little bit of fixes, and I notice that it's not completely straight. So I'm going to re-click it, I'm just going to like that a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Now we can do a bunch of different things. We can have a hatchback, a Humvee, limo, a gut drop, whatever we want it to be chasing. I'm going to do a van, because what the heck. <laughs> Then not a cleaning surface van, because why would we just map but a minivan? Let's say the minivan has a bunch of money that someone just stole from the bank. I don't even know. It would be what a police car be chasing. Do the same thing, drag the minivan over here. Same thing. Rotate it. Check. Rotate it more. Move this guy. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good. Back to starting camera view. We have set up our basic scene. Now we're going to go to edit code again. We're back to here. Now we have to make sure we want them to be chasing each other, right? We don't want them just to be sitting here, blue star staring in. So, we're going to go to this tab right here. This basically is like the item in the scene. You want to edit their code. Or... What do you want this item in the scene to do? So we're just going to click on this little arrow and go to this down here. Procedures. Scroll down here and there's this little thing. Say think right here. And we're going to zoom. This top van is going to say something. So we're going to want to drag this box into this area. Okay. Let's see this. We have to customize it. So you can either have it say hello, this is the standard thing, or custom text we do it. I pretty much never use it. Custom text stream. We're gonna wanna do that. We're gonna have it say this. You will Never cat me. I'm gonna be tapping really, really slow for this. So you guys can just see what I'm doing kind of exclamation. Now that we have this custom text string text string done. We're gonna to wanna to do okay. There we go. Our first thing. We are going to run this scene. And actually I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna go this thing I'm gonna add a detail. You can do all this stuff, font color, bubble outline color, all this stuff. Duration I'm just gonna set to 2.0. Two seconds. This is gonna this it's gonna say this for two point seconds. Two point oh seconds. We're gonna run our scene. You will never catch me. And that's all that's happening. Alright, good. We have our first thing. Now we're going to want to have the police car respond. We're going to go this dot van. We're going to switch it to the police car. Have him say something after. Same thing that we did before. You'll never catch me. Yes. Oh gosh. Yes. 
I will. Question mark. That's okay. Second thing. I don't have to get complicated now. I'm not going to explain why we're doing this, but just trust me. This, if you guys want to follow along, do this part. <laughs> and basically, you'll kind of know. There are these boxes on the bottom that basically can redesign all the stuff you can do in these function and procedures tab. So, we're going to utilize one of these. And it's the do together tab. And I'm going to be utilizing this a lot in tutorial videos that I use for this program. What we're going to do is we're going to have them all moving together. We're going to have the man, the mini, the police car, and the camera moving to the right at the same time. So it's going to look like they're chasing each other. And comment. You can basically also there's another thing that's cool, and I like to use this a lot. You put comments in, which is just like simple things like hello. You add a comment. Hello, bye. Done. <laughs> and those are comments right here. Yeah, but we're not using comments. Just delete this. Yeah, but anyway, we're gonna have. We're gonna go to this fam. We're gonna say move away from police car. Twenty five. And we're gonna go to. Police car move toward this that van twenty four. Okay, I'm just did that really, really slow because this is like the most complicated part of this video. Now, we're going to want to have the camera. It's not going to be moving towards or away from something. It's going to be moving in just a certain direction. Move. Right. Twenty. Three. This is going to be the one thing we're going to have to customize a lot. That's where we're going to have to run this scene a bunch of times just to try to customize this one number. I'm going to check how long this recording span. 13 minutes. A lot longer than I expected, but I'm getting in. So, I'm going to go to 15 minutes. So, yeah, we're going to try to get this done. We're going to run it. You'll never catch me. Yes, I will. Okay. Exactly what I wanted to do. You're going to put this. Just don't bother what I did. To 24. It's a start, but I just did something that's gonna look weird. It's not gonna look like this for you, but it's just new decimal number, and that says that it does look like this for you guys. And for this, I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna make them go. So twice the amount of time. So 24 times 2 is 48. Okay. It's supposed to be okay then. And then this one will go. Fifty. So yeah. Then that'll be good. So we're gonna keep those two there. And this one's going for 48. And then we're going to want to change this. To. 48 also. So that'll be going 48 too. Now. 
That just dramatically changed your scene. Those three little numbers that we edited changed our scene so much. So, we're gonna run it. You'll never catch me. Yes, I will. Do you see how longer they saw it? And the camera panned out. That's what's cool. Okay? So now we're going to have one more thing. We're going to have this guy, for no reason, say ha, ha. Okay, just for no reason. So guys, I'm going to end off all the videos by writing the scene. We're already past 15, but you know what? YOLO. We're going to run the scene. You'll never catch me. Yes, I will. Haha. -ha. And that's what we've accomplished in this video. I see a lot. And I went on really, really slow. I actually made another video before, and I literally got so much more covered in 10 minutes. But I honestly feel more confident. You guys understand this programming a little bit better now that I have explained more things in greater detail. And also, other than other programming videos, I think I've kind of made it more of a beginner's thing instead of just saying, okay, this is what you type. Explain why you're typing it and what you're doing. Anyway, so that's the end of the video, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.